Hey, it's Erica, the Design Diva. My purpose is to make you pop on paper and shine online. Today, I will be sharing with you some tips for editing photos when you're using Microsoft Word. So I've already opened a template that's available in, uh, via Microsoft Word. I, was, I guess it's one of their online templates. Um, and I've imported it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be changing this picture out. So if I click on that picture there and I want to make a change to it, one of the things I can do is right click and just say change picture, right? Pretty easy. You can do from stock images, whatever, from file, anything like that. So if I go from a file and I choose a photo that is square, let, let me find one. Uh, oh, here we go. Nope. Could have a square image somewhere. Hold on. So let me just look at my downloads. I'll just grab one. Yep. So I'm just going to grab this one because I know it's a perfect square. Okay. So again, if it's a photo, it would be a little bit different, but you kind of see, you kind of get a feel for what it's looking like, right? So a lot of stuff people will do is they'll try to take a picture that's not a perfect square or does not fit into a perfect shape and they will warp it out. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the picture again. And I'm gonna grab a picture of, again, let's see. And I'm just gonna grab one of these here. And once I grab that, you can see it does not actually fill up that space. So it kind of looks kind of empty over there, right? So I could just leave it and maybe like center it or something like that to make it kind of better. But if I want to fill that space, what I can do is I can go here, I can go to picture format, and then I can do a crop and I can crop it to a shape. So instead, or I, well, I could do a crop and just do it manually, okay, and just kind of eyeball it, right? Kind of something like that. Crop some of the bottom off, crop some of the top off, and then bring it out to fill that space, right? So I could do something like that, but let me go undo so I can show you um, how to crop it to a shape, right? So my picture is there. Gonna go to picture format, crop, crop to a shape. So what I can do is, and these are different options you have, I can crop it to a quote unquote rectangle. Okay. And when I do that, it was well, what it's trying to do is bring it directly into a rectangle, right? So let's just say it wasn't rectangular, then I could do it that way. If I want to do it as an oval, I could do that as well. Okay. All right. So it will crop to whatever shape you kind of choose right here. So let's see if I want to get it. Hold on, let me go back and crop two. Okay, so it's still making it circular there. And what you can do though, is you can go to aspect ratio. If you want it to be square, you can do that portrait landscape, whichever way you want to make that happen. So if I go to like quote unquote square, that means it's gonna be you know, perfectly that that one-to-one uh, -one ratio, okay, with the height and the width, right? Is that cool? Like, like I've definitely just like cropped my picture into that circular background. So make sure that it fills to the edges, okay? So you can move it around, you can um, resize it, use the white um, handles if you need to resize, because once you touch those black um, uh, brackets, or angles and um, lines there, that's actually gonna crop it in some more, just gonna like cut some more off of it, okay? So that's what you use that part for, okay? All right, so once you get it the way you like it, then you can kind of like just like uh, click off the crop button there and now you have that circular or image or whatever um, type of image you have or, or whatever shape you've chosen. So here again, I just kind of resize it. And now when I center, it does not look, out of place, right? It just like looks like, okay, now that fits. Now let's just say, instead of doing that, I want it to, I'm gonna undo, I'm just hitting Control Z to undo all this. Okay, I'm gonna pick a different picture. Okay, I'm gonna change picture. 
And I'm gonna just choose, I'm gonna choose a stock image. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, okay, um, let's see. Um, of course, choose some laptop type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna insert that photo there. Okay, so one thing is happening, sometimes you insert photos, it'll be like kind of messed up. So I'm going to go over to picture format and I'm going to just rotate it. And you can ro rotate it whichever way you need to. So this one needs to go that way. And again, like, let's just say I want to fill this whole entire space. Um, one of the other things that I can do is instead of making it, because remember last time we made it circular, I'm going to go ahead and click um, aspect ratio and I'm going to do one to one, right? So again, I can crop it to however I need to, all right? So I can bring that over some, click on crop. And then all I have to do is fill it into that space. Okay, so that's one of the things you want to do with your images, okay? Because again, a lot of people will come in and they will take, uh, instead of taking those top, bottom, and side um, handles, they'll just bring it down. And then what happens is the picture is warped. Now this was this one does not look as bad as I've seen because sometimes they'll, oh my gosh, you'll take a person's picture and do that. And that's absolutely, it just warps their face and makes them look like, you know, you know, like like one of the X-Men or something. I don't know, it looks crazy. So that's uh, some of one of the things you want to do. One of the other really um, great ways that I've learned, great things that I've learned to um, modify images in inside of Microsoft Word is, let me go ahead and go back and do this aspect ratio here. Um, one of the other things I've learned is to just basically detach it from being in line with the text, okay? So right now I can take this picture and I can try to move it around. It's really kind of limiting what I can do, right? However, if I go over to, I can do this one or two ways. I can right click and go to wrap text, or you can go up here to picture format and you have that same option, wrap text. When you click wrap text, you can do either, choose either behind text or in front of text. I'm gonna choose in front of text because um, if you do behind text, of course, you, you already kind of can figure that uh, what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do in front of text. Now what happens when I try to click it and move it around it's not attached to that particular space. So now I can move it to wherever I want to move it. I still resize it. I can still crop it. I can still do whatever I need to do with this image. So that's one of the, that's like a really helpful thing when you're trying to move images around and trying to uh, make different things happen uh, with the images, okay? So again, you can warp it. You can do whatever uh, you need to do and then go in, um, again, just kind of make make it uh, do what it does. So the last thing I'm gonna show you before we leave is I'm gonna uh, grab that image from, of me from before, let's see, or at, at one of them. I'm gonna change the picture and let me choose one with a pretty, um, a pretty solid background. If it has a, a pretty um, distinct, background, this is going to be um, easy. One that doesn't have a good background or, or a profound background um, is not going to work as well. So let me see. I think just one of these should be okay. I think. So we're going to try it. <laughs> okay. So now we have this image of me. Let's see. I'm going to crop it back out to, um, I'm going to crop, crop it to a portrait. Okay. And I just want my picture to fit inside this. Okay. And then I can, of course, bring it out to whatever size I need to. All right. So now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to remove that background. So Word does have a format of removing background. Um, honestly, it's, it's like I haven't used Word to do this um, a lot lately, but 
I think it kind of works better on, in the other programs. Okay, just gonna be honest. So right now, what you see is that, let me zoom in so you can see. Right now, this is, it cropped, it's cropping out the background and it's just keeping the parts that are colored. Now the part that it, that's in that kind of um, purpley kind of color, that's what it's going to erase. So um, the way to get around that is number one, <laughs> use a different program. Or you can come in here and I want to zoom so you can see, kind of see. Now, if it was perfect, I could say keep all changes and it'll be good to go, right? But what I can do is I can mark the areas that I want to keep or mark the areas I want to remove, okay? So I'm going to click on that, mark areas to keep. So when I start to do this and... Okay, there we go, I've got the pencil. What happens is you start to color over those parts you want to keep. And it'll add that to the selection of stuff that you that it wants to keep, okay? So as you can see, when I kind of outline it a little bit, it kind of figures it out a little bit. So this is kind of one of those things like you have to kind of like play with a little bit more. And again, if you don't have any other tools that, that you can utilize, then um, of course, you know, go with this. Okay. So it kind of tries to get smarter. I'm gonna grab my eye because I, I like to have my eyeball there. <laughs> and as you can see, again, definitely not perfect, but you could go in and make a really, um, you could do okay with uh, removing a background. And again, I thought this was gonna be work out really well just because the background was so uh, profound, profound, profoundly different. Okay, and I'm just, right now I'm just like going and circling and trying to see if it will can figure out. These are the parts that you're supposed to be keeping. Okay, so now this is, um, I think I've grabbed pretty much everything I need. The, well, here we go, I've got a little part there. But everything that is gonna be cropped. Now, of course, I could go in and grab the edges too if I want to, the parts that are cropped out. But okay, see, it brought some more in um, as well. So you can also go in and you can mark the areas to remove as well. So here, same thing. Instead of here though, it what it does is it highlights it in red instead of the um, green. So you kind of know which tool you're using. Okay. okay. Does not want to get rid of this piece. Let me try to color over it and see. Okay, so when I color over it, it grabs it. Okay, and again, like I really could have done, done this in a different program and um, it would have been quicker, honestly, just very, very honestly. But as you can see, like it does a pretty good job. Um, you could zoom in and really uh, fine tune this as much as you need it. Again, if Word is your only option. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, let's see, let me see, I'm trying to get out, get a little bit of these pieces out, me and my flippy hair. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like this, because again, it's a light color, so it should be okay once it's on the white ground, white background, okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and keep my changes. And that's rough, guys. That's really, really, really rough. So, okay. So I did, I'm pretty sure I would not use this on anything, but this is an option that you can utilize in within Word if there's a good background, um, if the picture has a good background. Let me try. I'm going to try one more time with a different photo. So I'm going to start from scratch inserting a picture from this device. And I have, I should have one with a white background. Here we are. Yes. When Miss, my girl Adina did my hair. Yes. She did the, yes, this is my natural. Yes. 
don't have all, all my magic hair in this picture. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to picture format and I am going to do uh, background removal. Um, okay, this one did all right. It did all right-ish. I'm gonna, I mean, it cut out all that piece down there, but let's see. So I'm gonna go back to the format, to the areas I need to keep and just go ahead and kind of color and select all around there. You like how it just cuts right into my cleavage there, right? <laughs> I, need, I need work to do better. Okay. All right. So now let's see what this looks like. Key changes. Yep. So again, just depending on what you have going on, this is something you may or not may may or may not be able to utilize and make it, you know, work for what you are doing. Again, you can always go in and um, utilize a different um, a different tool, then bring the image in like, um, I'm sorry, like this. I'm going to just bring in one that I've already edited. Like you can get a circular picture. Let's see. Yep. So I can bring in this picture that I've already cropped myself. I can bring that in. Okay, delete that one. And it's already good to go. So, you know, you can have bring it in already formatted as well. Um, so that is one with a circular background or I could bring in one with um, a transparent background like this. Okay. So again, much better than what I was doing in Microsoft Word, okay, with the cropping part. Um, so I, I said I was, was last thing. One more thing I'm going to show you. This is a bonus. Is that you can actually just drag the images into Microsoft Word. The way that I was doing it is going in third picture or either going to the picture and right clicking and doing change picture from file. What you can do is you can actually just uh, open your Explorer whatever um you know kind of operating system you have you can open that up and just drag the picture in okay so let me see let me split my screen so i can show you what i mean let's see okay so i'm gonna bring up my explorer window and show you what i'm talking about okay so let me find a picture Okay, so here are some pictures that I have oops, that I have saved. So wherever your Explorer window is, you can go in and grab that picture and drop it right into Microsoft Word. You see how that uh, arrow changes now? So let's see. Okay, it went to the, it went behind the other picture, so that's why you didn't see it. Let me undo this and then I'll bring it back up. So you can see, okay. And I'll bring this one in so you can see the difference. So again, you can put it wherever the cursor is, is where it's gonna drop. You can go in and make edits to it as you know, however you would like. Okay. So hopefully this helped you. Until next time, this is Erica the Design, Design Diva reminding you that you don't choose what happens in your life, but you, you respond and react to everything.